It's time for the New York Minute, where I attempt to talk about things going on in the gaming industry as quickly as possible, which you know doesn't work well for me. I have diarrhea of the mouth. Many feminists fucking love sex. Everybody and their mother knows over the past three days or 72 hours ago, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to PC. I said it as soon as they showed it. it I know what Rockstar is going to do, but frankly, we've got some confirmation because of the LinkedIn profile leaks. There were two guys from some website. I can't find them. They actually sat and went through every Rockstar employee's LinkedIn to get this information and get it out there. I don't remember the dude's name. I lost it in Twitter. PC Gamer, none of the major gaming outlets even gave them credit for it. I apologize. I can't even remember their names, but at least I'm saying something. So these two dudes went through every Rockstar person's profile and found the leak. A programmer for Rockstar has basically named off the games he's working on. Uh, LA Noir, PlayStation 3, Xbox, PC, Grand Theft Auto 5, PlayStation through all platforms, Red Dead Redemption 2, PS4, Xbox One, PC. Bang, bang, boom. It's all out there. Much to the chagrin of YouTube trolls such as Jay's Two Cents. Oops, wrong Jay. Such as JTech TV. But um, they're purposely excluding the PC gamers because they don't like what they do to their games. God forbid they enjoy you know, themselves. I mean, look, I know what they said. You guys know what they said. I'm waiting for someone to go in the comment section and tell me that they did not say that they don't like mods. They did not say that they don't like you guys pirating their games. Because we all know they said it. Stupid! You're so stupid! This guy, you may have remembered if you've been a fan of my channel for a while, is the person I accused of having Munchausen's disease. I also accused him of being borderline retarded. Because he is. If you've watched anything he's done, all he does is crap on PC gaming and every other console except PlayStation because for some reason PlayStation doing well means he does well by proxy. Yes, the man is mentally deranged. Henceforth, Munchausen's. He should change his YouTube channel's name to that. Munchausen Tech TV. How could he even be called JTech TV? He knows nothing of tech. His grounds for saying Red Dead Redemption would never come to PC was because Rockstar said they hated pirates and they hated mods because they don't like what mods do to their platform. And I wish to God Ric Flair could just teleport to his house and chop him in the throat. Woo! That's red, nigga. Woo! Ric Flair, nigga. Woo! The power's in my head, nigga. Woo! Get this beat the chair, nigga. I'm not even a wrestling fan. Long story short, JTech, this is for you, you dumb bastard. The reason why Rockstar had a problem with mods is my dear JTech is because the mods were economically better than shark cards. At the time, Rockstar noticed a downward trend on their sales of shark cards. Online experience that's an utter piece of garbage. It's an online game platform where they essentially give you DLC with weapon variables tweaked ever so slightly with new skins and they watch fuck nuts, usually on consoles, get on to play either hours a day to try and make that money or just pay for shark cards. On PC, you can actually mod your game to actually make it look realistic. It's a thing. You know those realistic graphics you little fuck nuts are craving for and screaming, oh, the God of War looks so real. You should see my GTA 5, dude. It looks like you're walking in LA. Two, you can actually put real world weapons, guns, etc., in the game. And guess what? It's all free. You don't have to buy a shark card. So when Rockstar saw that, they thought they could treat us like console gamers. Yeah! That's for fucking my wife! And for making me look like a dog's nut back there! Kick us in the nuts and tell us, take it and like it. No more mods for you. They saw the backlash they had coming and quickly reverted their idea of what they were doing. They saw the writing on the wall. Two, it's obvious Rockstar Games is going to put Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC because they made so much money. Let me explain to you how it's going to happen, my dear JTech, you retarded fuck. <coughs> One, they're going to release Red Dead Redemption 2 on the current gen consoles. Whoopee! Take that, PC gamers. You don't get the game. Then a year later, it'll come out on PC. Everyone who has a brain will probably buy it then. After that, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Next should come out at around 2020. Then they'll re-release the ported PC version to the newer consoles, and you'll buy it again, you dumb bastard, because that's how stupid you are. 
you'll have two copies of the same game when you could have got it on PC and had the overall better experience. And you'll probably buy some shark cards too and talk about the exclusivity you'll get because I have a special PlayStation skin because that's all you really care about. Worrying about a fucking box that doesn't give a shit about you and a company that doesn't give two craps about you. Go to Japan, see how they treat you. you <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, let's move on. Call him Guy Gene and he probably sit there and go, Thank you very much. Because JTEC can't even enunciate his words, he's such a douchebag. Even the Hulk in the Avengers movie has clearer English than JTEC TV. Toasty! Yeah, my dick is huge. Oh! Look at my dice, man. And other lackluster gaming news where big corporations think that we're all stupid as sin and they can do whatever they want and everybody eats it up. Usually their fan bases do. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 announced the Black Ops Pass, which is essentially normally a season's pass, but they figured they changed the name to Black Ops Pass. You'll be more inclined to enjoy it and pay for it because now it's not a season's pass. It's the Black Ops Pass. And you are Black Ops, my dude. In doing so, the Black Ops Pass comes with the usual crap that right now you can only grab if you pay for the special edition, which is 120 bucks of garbage. Uh, it comes with classified bonus zombie map available at launch, whereas to everyone else will get it later on. Sort of like Modern Warfare 4 was tied to the Infinity War. Infinity War. Uh, you know, the last Call of Duty Infinity game, some garbage. And then literally like a year later, they finally released it as a standalone game for the PC and every other system because they're douchebags. 12 multiplayer maps, which is odd in this day and age while every other company now gives you the maps for free, Activision still feels you should pay for it. Also, four Blackout characters get your penis ready because they're going to entice it with this news. Four additional zombie experiences. Once again, these will probably be released later on. When? Who knows? A year? Six months? Three months? Whatever, as long as they get their money. They'll probably release it after they've 100% made sure they've made their money. Then they'll put it out for every other asshole. The Black Ops Pass is included in the Digital Deluxe Edition, the Digital Deluxe Enhanced Edition, and the Pro Edition, and represents a new approach to the post-launch content of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Here you go, people. Games of service. There you go. No story mode. A season's pass. Microtransactions out the asshole. Because, frankly, I guess they feel you buying call of duty points isn't enough for activision $10. they need you, you to shell this? out extra for this crap too what a lovely group of people the thing is activision flies under the radar because everyone's so mad at ea but this has bit them in the ass as many of their fans are now screaming they're gonna go to they're gonna buy a battlefield 5 because the maps are free you know it's like i kind of find it funny you know people just bounce from one shit company to the other one like when EA gets them really mad, they go to, you know, Call of Duty and Activision. Oh, well, what they did with Battlefield 1 sucks. I'm going to play World War II, Call of Duty. Then Black Ops comes out and they're like, what they're doing with Black Ops sucks. I'm going to play Battlefield 5, World War II. It's just a never-ending pendulum of just going from one shit situation to another. It's almost like being a drug addict. Ah, oh, I've had it with heroin. I'm sticking to cocaine. And then it's like, oh. Had one bad trip on the coke, I'm getting back on horse. The highs were better. It's just sad, really. There are other options, but the average gamer doesn't really know, let alone care, because their lexicon consists of AAA gaming. And on that point, I should get the hell out of here. Because frankly, I'm beating a dead horse. And it doesn't matter. Activision's still gonna make a shit ton of money. So is Rockstar, so is EA. Nothing ever changes. That's why they can keep doing what they do. And the only reason why I'm here is because my date got canceled. So I'm throwing a chew toy to ungrateful dog that just bit me. You know the whole spiel. Rate, comment, subscribe if you so choose to. If not, the hell with it, man. But just remember, the more of you that follow me, the more powerful I become on YouTube. I can't be ignored. Well, I can be ignored, apparently. But, you know, let's leave my personal life out of this. Forgot to mention, your old boy Gundam is going to be in Fallout Cascadia. As a character, you didn't see that coming, did you? Neither did I, frankly, when I found out I got the part. Hopefully this leads to more voiceover work in mods, where you can soon have me following you around either the wasteland or Skyrim somewhere. God knows it'll happen at some point. 
And on that note, I am seriously out of here because this is supposed to be fast.